Ever since famous YouTuber Logan Paul confirmed his relationship status, everyone has been wondering who Chloe Benet is. We'll give you some insider information on the woman we recently saw walking the red carpet with Logan Paul. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos from the taco. Now let's begin. If you like crafts and DIYs, check out our friends at Crafty Hackers. They have this awesome video about summer life hacks you can't miss. Click in the corner to watch the best summer hacks and DIYs. Make sure you check them out and be sure to leave them a like. Her name. Nowadays, we all know her as Chloe Benet, but there was a time when this star went by a different name. Her father is Han Chinese, and her mother is Caucasian. When Chloe was born, she was given her father's last name, which was Wang. She eventually changed her last name to Benet, which is her father's first name, but the reason why is pretty sad. As a young aspiring actress, Chloe moved to Los Angeles, but had trouble getting work. Many casting directors wouldn't seriously consider her because she was half Asian. She was told she wasn't white enough to get lead roles or Asian enough to get supporting roles. This left her in a serious predicament and she decided to change her name to hopefully improve her odds of getting casted. It worked as she was soon cast as Haley on Nashville. However, the decision to change her name caused a lot of controversy and many people claims she's denying her Chinese heritage. But according to Chloe, being Chinese is her blood and her name doesn't change that. She also places blame on racism and Hollywood standards for creating a situation in which a name change was necessary. Pop star. We can see why Chloe Benet changed her last name from Wang to Benet in order to pursue an acting career. But back when she was Chloe Wang, she still had a successful career, just a very different type. Chloe was born in Chicago, Illinois, but moved to China when she was 15 years old. A New York management company called Network Music Group was looking for an American singer of Chinese descent. The hope was to find someone to break into the Chinese music business, and once they discovered Chloe, they knew she would be a star. Convincing her father to let her go wasn't easy, but Chloe Chloe pointed out that worst case scenario, she would learn some Mandarin and come back with a new life skill. So off she headed to Beijing where she lived with her paternal grandmother. In addition to learning a new language, Chloe also had to complete six hours of dance classes daily. While performing as Chloe Wang, she released two singles, Uh Oh and Every Day in Between. Despite this, Chloe claims she felt more like a character than her authentic self, so she decided to return to the US. Acting. After returning to the United States and changing her name, Chloe finally began booking gigs. She was eager to audition for the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but it wasn't going to be easy. Jeff Loeb, head of Marvel Television, admits that Chloe was absolutely put through the gauntlet before ultimately joining the cast. She started out auditioning for the role of Agent Gemma Simmons, who was now played by Elizabeth Henstridge. After not getting that part, they had her return and audition an additional six times. In addition to the constant test, she also had to beat over 400 other actresses to get the part. Finally, she got the pair of Daisy Sky Johnson. This was her first major role that got her into the public eye. While she was impressing audiences on television, Chloe was also wowing her co-stars behind the scenes. Because of her eventful life, many of them couldn't believe she was only 21 years old. Brett Dalton, who also plays Grant Ward, is a decade older than Chloe and admits he never thinks of her as being younger or having less maturity than the rest of the cast. Challenges Portraying Daisy hasn't been easy, but it seems Chloe Benet is up to the challenge. When she realized how many skills Daisy has, she wanted to do the part justice and signed up for martial arts training. Her goal is to make every movement look effortless, but in reality, it's a ton of work. Chloe has gone through months of rigorous stunt training, including kickboxing, Krav Maga, and Jiu Jitsu. Her hard work and training has paid off, as Chloe claims this makes her seem more confident and natural when filming fight scenes. You might think that going through fight scenes would be the toughest part of the job for Chloe, but she has an even bigger challenge. Obviously, with all shows, there is an intense risk of spoilers, especially on a popular show such as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But according to Chloe, she's really terrible at keeping secrets, putting her in an uncomfortable position. It takes every bit of self-restraint she has to stop herself from blurting out spoilers to every last fan she comes across. For years, she dated Austin Nichols of The Walking Dead fame, so she had to deal with spoilers for two different major shows. Visibility 
There are a ton of things to love about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but there are a lot of issues as well. It's been criticized in the past for its lack of diversity and its poor representation and lack of female characters. Chloe Binet believes she can help change that by appearing on television as someone who isn't the typical blonde-haired, blue-eyed superhero. Considering what she went through when she moved to LA, it's no wonder this issue is important to Chloe. In fact, looking back, she's horrified that she readily accepted racism and considered it the norm. She says acting in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has actually been an empowering experience. Many people of different backgrounds have told her they now believe they too can be actors after seeing her on the show. In fact, Chloe doesn't think the show gets nearly enough credit for the amount of diversity it contains. As for her part, Chloe is proud to be able to act as an example for aspiring actors. She hopes that shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will become the norm and believes that it's been quietly breaking new ground. Family Saying Chloe Binet grew up in a busy household is an understatement. In addition to her parents, she also shared a house with her six brothers. Although things were a little crowded, Chloe feels growing up with so many brothers helped her become the person she is today. Three of her brothers are biological, two were foster brothers, and one was adopted. Two of them are African American, and one is Mexican Filipino. Chloe has jokingly described her household as a frat house mixed with the United Nations. Although she loved to wrestle and roughhouse with her brothers, Chloe never took a liking to any sport. Instead, she pursued the arts, leading to her becoming a singer and ultimately an actress. She claims that growing up with so many brothers caused her to develop an easygoing personality. Another bonus is that she believes she understands men more than most women do. But living with six brothers definitely had its drawbacks. Chloe claims that some of her bad habits are eating like a caveman and laughing at jokes which make other women cringe. Other Heroes while Chloe does want to be a hero to other aspiring actors, she has some favorite heroes of her own. And of course, since she plays a character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they're of the superhero variety. She has six brothers, and all of them are huge comic book fans. Naturally, this meant that Chloe was exposed to tons of comics growing up, and she realized that she loves them as well. She admits that her favorite gang of superheroes would definitely have to be the X-Men. But in terms of what superhero character she most identifies with, Chloe has a very particular X-Men in mind. Jean Grey. According to Chloe, Jean Grey can be downright villainous at times, but she still adores her anyways. Something about her personality just resonates with Chloe, and she feels she can relate to the character. But speaking as Daisy, Chloe has some other ideas about the potential for a crossover. She thinks it would be amazing to fight alongside the Avengers, and lately it seems that group can use all the help they can get. In addition, she would love to team up with Jessica Jones and believes she and Daisy would have some epic banter between them. The Beginning we know that Chloe Binet and Logan Paul have confirmed their romantic relationship, but how did these two meet? They both appear in the movie Valley Girl, which is a remake of the 80s hit of the same name. Originally, the film was set to be released on June 29, 2018, but clearly that didn't happen. The film has already been shot, but MGM removed it from the release schedule and no new date has been announced. In fact, MGM put the remake of Dirty Scoundrels called The Hustle on the schedule instead. Apparently, there are rumors that Chloe's new boyfriend is the reason for delaying the release of the film. Logan Paul has been in a few controversies as of late, and even though he doesn't play a major role, it's enough to make the studio cautious. After all, even YouTube suspended the ads on Logan's incredibly popular channel due to some controversial videos he's posted. The studio is hoping that enough time and positive press will pass, and the presence of Logan Paul won't affect the box office bottom line. Logan Paul's Reason after the pair met, they were spotted kissing and canoodling in Hawaii, but Logan was evasive when asked about their relationship. He explained that he and Chloe are definitely friends, but sometimes friends just kiss one another. He added he resented having to define their relationship when he didn't know what to call it. However, Logan has definitely changed his tune regarding that situation. In a social media post, he claimed Chloe won his heart by standing by his side through his various ups and downs. Although many former fans turned their back on him because of his controversial actions, apparently Chloe Chloe stood by his side. According to Logan, Chloe encouraged him to be a better human being and use his platform responsibly. He acknowledged that supporting him was a huge risk on Chloe's behalf, both professional and personal. But since the two seem so happy together now, it appears that risk paid off big time. Chloe's Reasons 
Now we know what Logan Paul sees in Chloe Benet, but what does she see in him? Many people have questioned her feelings for him, and some even thought the relationship was a publicity stunt. But Chloe has been candid and honest about what she sees in Logan, and it's actually pretty sweet. Although he's been accused of being less than sensitive, Chloe finds Logan to be a very kind person and considers him one of her best friends. She also added that he's creative, funny, and weird in all of the right ways. The two share a curiosity about life and are great at making each other laugh. At first, these two seem to be keeping things quiet, but they had a good reason to do so. Since going public with their relationship, Chloe admits there have been tons of haters. She describes people's words and actions as mean and aggressive when it comes to the relationship between her and Logan Paul. When you're in love with someone and basking in the glow of the honeymoon period, that's not the sort of thing anyone wants to deal with. Logan claims he kept quiet for so long because he just wanted to protect Chloe from the backlash of being involved with him. What do you think about the relationship between Chloe Binet and Logan Paul? Let us know what you think in the comments section, then hit subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.